Hello, you beautiful individuals. Today, we are looking at Sir Sick exposed by a creationist. So, Sir Sick actually just responded to this video on his channel. I thought it was hilarious and decided, why not? Why not also respond to this moron that thinks he exposed Sir Sick? Now, I've only seen what little bits you know, Sir Sick showed on his channel, and I'll probably jump around a bit because I don't feel like responding to this entire 21 minute ramble of nonsense. Especially in the beginning, he does some really stupid voice and I'm not about it. Um, so, just for quick little housekeeping here, I still do plan on releasing the part three of the, you know, reaction to the documentary. Just Every time I've wanted to record it, it got messed up, and then our power was out, knocked the internet out, which jacked the computer up, and so I just had to fix the power supply on the computer. It was a whole thing. But anyway, it's all back up and running, and so am I. So, let's knock this out. Oh, and if you were, for some reason, looking forward to my debate with David McQueen about Noah's Ark, I that, that actually, literally, the hours before I was supposed to do the debate, the, someone hit a telephone pole down the road, and like I said, knocked our power out and everything. So, yeah, that, that was a whole thing. But I, I do plan on rescheduling that. Actually, I believe good old Donnie emailed me back. I probably should look at that. Give me one second. Okay, so it seems, it looks like we're so far rescheduling for December, December 30th. So, at the end of the month here. We'll see, though. I mean, it might, you know, it could be earlier or later, who knows. Hopefully around then. But anyway. Yeah, so. Let's, um, let's just get into this. Oh, actually, no, first. Hold on one second. I gotta show you this. Okay, so on my uh, second part of the reaction to, you know, the Ken Hoven documentary, The Weakness of Ken Hoven, or whatever it's called, um, he actually commented on my video. He said, right here, Someone suggested I watch some of this, so I did. I doubt it. Um, I'm ready to debate you and any number of atheist assistants you like. Call Standing for Truth to schedule ASAP. You go first and present the best scientific evidence for evolution and show the world how smart you are and how dumb I am. Call today. And I said, my man, we have debated twice. Are you okay? <laughs> I'll definitely debate you again if you want, but it would need to be on young Earth versus old Earth. Because I've, I've debated him on evolution twice, and as I've said, I'm not an expert. As I've said multiple times, I'm an idiot. But yeah, I'll still do it again. I just prefer to be on, you know, something we both understand a little more. Especially him, because he doesn't understand evolution. He just thinks he understands young Earth, which not much to understand there, because it's wrong. But yeah, so I don't know if it was actually him or one of his lackeys that just commented that, but, or maybe, you know, I mean, I get I'm pretty forgettable, so whatever. But I just thought that was funny that he commented that. And yeah. I also found, found this one was funny. So if you don't want to believe Dr. Hoven got his degree or that it's not accredited, he doesn't care. Debate him on the facts. If you are so sure he is delusional or a liar or wrong, Debate him on his terms, one topic at a time. E equal time for each. Sounds fair. And, and you know what? You're not wrong. It does sound fair, doesn't it? Few issues with that. One, Hovind is literally incapable of sticking to one topic at a time. It's impossible. And if you try to too much, you know, Donnie kind of jumps in and stops that. Um, also, equal time, that's nonsense. Like, absolute nonsense. Hoven doesn't care about equal time. He just doesn't want time that goes more than he has. Like, he doesn't care if he's talking more than you, which he usually does. But anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Let's jump back to the video. Sir Sick exposed by a creationist. Sir Sick is one of my favorite content creators, especially in this realm. Um, so yeah, it's, I just figured, why not? I thought it was funny and just want to do something nice and easy today. Thank you. 
So Sir Sick made a video debunking me and I thought he was gonna be wrong and I was gonna be right But he has the facts and science on his side and he's so freaking funny that I'm a Sir Sick fan now Look at I got a science here cuz I heckin love science. I'm pickle Rick And I got one of these. I'm sure Sir Sick has one of these. It, it looks so good Okay So a few things right off the bat one and I trust me, I know I have had many audio issues. I apologize, I'm still learning. I do have a better mic now, so hopefully that'll help a little bit. But this man's audio is horrendous. I mean, it is all over the place. It's it, So I, I apologize. Like, I'm going to try to fix it a little bit, but it's going to sound like... His part of the audio is going to sound like crap regardless. I mean, I'll do what I can, but I'm like I said, I'm not, I'm not that good with this yet. I'm still learning. This is the part where he gets really whiny and weird, and I'm not really a fan of that, even though I do kind of want to screenshot this. All right, I just thought that would make for a decent little thumbnail. Anyway, so yeah, it's just, this whole first part is him just whining and making this weird video. I'll play a little bit more, but we're probably gonna skip ahead here shortly. But he's right, guys. The eye, it, like, probably developed, like, a billion, a trillion years ago. He, th there's a study on it. There's the science. And, and Well, so, yes, there is a study, of course. But for one, trillion years ago, no. I just, no. The world's not that old. It's about four and a half billion, give or take. And multiple eyes had developed. I know you're talking about the human eye, which also did evolve and develop into what it is today. But, you know, my thing is, he's obviously, you know, Mr. Evangelical Christian, whatever, super Christian dude, believes young earth is wrong. He's a creationist, you know, he thinks the world's 6,000 years old, I assume. I don't know much about him. And the problem with that is, your theory is that God just, boom, made the eye like that. That's nonsense. Beyond nonsense. If he did, why is the eye so shit? Why, why does the eye suck? Because quite frankly, our eyes are not good. They're decent, you know, they're not bad by any means, but they're not good. Like the animals out there that demolish us when it comes to vision. I mean, we don't even see that many colors. So uh, anyway, let's just, let's keep going a little bit here. I'm like, we're a monkey. <laughs> and I've been holding that in this whole time. I've been denying that because basically I'm monkey. Yeah, honestly, you, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, it's, I think it's more apes is our kind of closer descendant that we have still around today. But again, like, you guys look, they always look at this the wrong way. It's not like we're saying one day there was a monkey and the next day, or an ape or whatever, and the next day there was a human. Like, it's about the fact that there was an ape that gave birth to an ape-like creature, but that wasn't quite an ape, you know, had a weird difference. And then it got a little bit more different. As, you know, it had, it grew and had kids over generation upon generation upon generation. And those differences kept changing until eventually the creature was no longer ape enough to be considered an ape. And it could not reproduce with said apes. And then we got what we would consider basically human-like creatures, kind of in between. There's a lot of them, a lot of different variations. And, you know, it, it took a long time for this to evolve. And eventually we get what we consider modern humans, homo sapiens. And, you know, they did all right for a while until we made the internet and you get people like this right here who make these nonsense videos and people like me. Let's skip ahead a bit. I don't know to what, but I just want to get past the, let's go to here. I'm just trying to get past the whiny, like, over-the-top nonsense that he's doing this now this is a big difference between macroevolution which is the emergence of entirely new species of new organs of new kinds this is totally unfalsifiable this is not science this is no 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 it's no it's not saying that there's just gonna all of a sudden be a new no it happens with very very gradual changes over a long period of time I just don't comprehend what is so hard to understand about that. 
there is, uh, never mind. Let's keep going. Pure speculation. This is a made up Hindu Darwinist fantasy. Hindu Darwinist. Now, see, I heard him say that when Sir Sit covered it. Hindu Darwinist? I've never heard that until I've seen that video, you know, this originally when Sir Sit covered it. Never ever heard that before. I don't understand. Like, what? What is a Hindu Darwin? What does that mean? Why, why is Hindu mixed in with that? You know what? Hold on a second. All right, so as I've said, I'm just an idiot. So I don't know much about anything, but from what I can see, it's not really a thing. Like, it seems, you know, the general view of, like, Hinduism and stuff has adopted, I guess, if that's a lack for a better word, evolution into their beliefs, which is understandable. Most religions do. Um, you just have outliers like this moron who deny it. But, yeah, so I, I, don't, I still don't get what he means by that term. But anyway... And also, evolution only works, and Sersik left this part out of his video because he can't answer it, is how do they get the Earth to be uh, millions, billions, hundreds of thousands of years old? Well, they use dating methods like carbon, radioactivity, light, whatever it is, and they assume that these principles have remained constant for hundreds of thousands, for millions and billions of years. That's how they date the Earth so old. Yeah, because it would have remained constant. Like Understand, the laws of physics just don't magically change. I know they do in your world because you believe in some big sky daddy does that, does it all. Even the things you can't explain. And, and that's the thing. Like When you have this belief, this creationist belief, you ignore any potential growth of your own intellect. You, you, you think this book written thousands of years ago, mistranslated, misinterpreted, and construed to fit the people's at the time's political and ideolo ideological agenda to explain everything. And what it doesn't explain, you just go, oh, God did it. And that's not, that's not enough. That's not science, my man. But how do you extrapolate the data that we've only been studying for a hundred years and extrapolated millions and billions, hundreds of thousands of years. That is not justified. I have a study link below of how you are going to get vastly different and bad results by just assuming these principles have been unchanged. You need to prove that. And they see no problem. They don't question their assumptions. I literally got so many comments like this. Oh, you know you could click it on? Yeah, I know I've clipped it on in other videos. I like to hold it. Why do you think this is some big gotcha moment? I mean, I mean it's not a gotcha moment. It's probably just general advice. Like, your, your mic would probably sound better. You're not supposed to have your face directly on your frickin' mic. But anyway, um, to the other part that you just glossed over, it, it's... How, how, how do I explain this so you'll understand? Because obviously you're an idiot. It's not that you have to to assume this, to extrapolate it. There's just, there is laws of physics at play that don't change and can't. I mean, I, I'm not gonna go into radiometric dating, but let's just say, I mean, that, that is a great one. I mean, it, it definitely helps prove a lot. But let's just do something even a little simpler in a way, like light. So there is galaxies and stars that are, just to keep it even more simple, farther than six to even 10,000 light years away, older than what they believe the Earth to be. Now, for us to see that light, for it to have traveled, say, 10,000 light years, we would need at least 10,000 years in the age of the universe. And that's a very young, I mean, that's not very far at all. Like, there's things that are, you know, millions and billions light years away, but that's just keeping it as simple as I can here. And the problem is, it couldn't have happened any other way. The speed of light is limited within space. It has a top speed. If you go beyond that, it'll literally, like, it won't exist in a way. I mean, exist is the wrong word. You wouldn't be able to see it. It would redshift into oblivion at that point. So, no. It's just how it's just how the laws of physics work. You can claim, oh, but what if they were different back then? But that's not an argument. That's just you asking an ignorant question because you don't understand the topics at which you're trying to expose or debunk. 
Anyway, let's skip ahead and see if we can find something about Sir Sick. Here we go. I've seen this picture pop up. Let's go right here. The social inequality crusader. Okay, why does socially inequality matter? He thinks the world is meaningless. Well, I'll take... No, okay. Right now, there is no meaning. Logic is just a human invention used to explain concepts in a consistent fashion. And philosophy, well, I think we all know how I feel about philosophy, makes me mad. What I say has no meaning. What you say has no meaning. Everything is ultimately meaningless in the grand scheme of things. So why does it matter? Okay, yeah, but you're taking, you're definitely misrepresenting what he's saying there. In a way, yes, he is 100% right. It is meaningless. This planet is meaningless. If you're going with the perspective or the scale of the universe, we don't matter. We're just a speck. We're, us personally, we're not even specks. We're a speck on a speck. Orbiting a speck, because our sun's not even that big. No, his point was that on the grand scheme of things, it is meaningless. But life is not meaningless. Living is the meaning of life. That's all there is. That's what it is. And how you choose to do it can help you find more meaning and purpose or potentially find less, but that's, you know, to each individual person. Your claim that you can't have meaning, and especially, I imagine you'll go into it, or at least you probably have in other videos, morals without religion is just ridiculous. Like, that's not how that works. And it's, ugh. I already, like, I knew I didn't like you from watching Sir Six video, but now I just, you just, ugh, you're so annoying. Like, it's just the same cliche, apologetic BS. And see, here's the issue. The meaning I find in making these videos, it's not the meaning to my life. It's not what I dedicate all my time to by any means. But the meaning I find in it is trying to show at least one person on how ignorant this creationist model is, and more importantly, how it limits the intellectual growth of children, especially when they're indoctrinated at this in such a young age to believe these nonsense beliefs of 6,000 year old earth, Noah's flood, and you know stuff, stuff like science is essentially evil or wrong. <sighs> Never mind. Let's just try to keep going. Let's try to keep going. If I believe in creationism, why why should anyone follow the true versus the false? Uh, the wh why? It it doesn't matter. I mean, this is a contradiction, and I hope and pray that he changes. And you can have different beliefs, but you need to be able to def defend them and not just project on me and then say, oh, I I won't debate or have a discussion. I won't show my face. Oh, I'm I'm stupid. What? What have you been doing this whole time? Maybe you didn't call yourself stupid, but this is... You're attacking him for it. Like, yes, he re reacts to one of your videos, of course, but you didn't have to attack him. You didn't have to expose him, in quotations. Like, you're not doing anything different. You just are finding some kind of meaning in it because you believe you're doing the right thing to appease your God. Like, and... And again, as I've said multiple times, I have no issue with religion. It's just when you use religion to lie and try to trick people, especially children. Take responsibility. Be a man. Evolution is stupid. Evolution is stupid. You know what? You're right. Excruciating detail by unfathomable amounts of research and evidence is wrong because, well, probably because you're too f***ing stupid to understand it. And of course he insists that I'm the stupid one. Yeah, because you are. You just said evolution is stupid. And that's it. You don't provide any counterclaim. You don't provide any evidence to the contrary. You don't provide any kind of, you know, proving even a part of it false. Because you can't. And I understand the same could technically be said about your book, but that's not the same thing. We Evolution can predict things. It can make predictions that come true. Evolution has evidence behind it. A lot of it. Your book has no evidence behind it whatsoever. At all. Especially if you take it literally. 
even though he calls himself an idiot. Now, I don't think he's an idiot. I just think he can't think for himself. Just like his army of... How does that make... What do you mean he can't think for himself? Your entire existence, essentially, is based on this not being able to think for yourself and following blindly to what an old man, or potentially not old, sits up in front of you and talks about a book about a, the same book week in week out if you go to church i assume you do the, what are you talking about you're worse than ken hoven at least ken hoven tries to tries to add something in there to like some substance it's usually ignorant but it's something Redditors that came and commented on my videos. I literally thought it was like a bot attack because they're all making the same bad arguments and they have all these assumptions about me. They don't know me. They saw half of one of my videos and they assume they have this prototype of how I am. They don't they don't even watch the videos because they can't think for themselves. Well, I'm watching the videos and I still think you're an idiot. And the thing is, even if they are all making the same argument, which I doubt, That's not how it works. People believe it, right? Because, and get this, it's f***ing true. <laughs> we believe it because it's true. It's true. We got we got to wear five masks. The science is true. <laughs> That's why we believe it because it's true. <laughs> Proves he hasn't learned thing one about what the theory of evolution is or what any of it means. Evolution is an explanation for all the variety and diversity that we see in life. It can be explained by random mutation and natural selection. I believe in microevolution and adaptations, a fine tuning of already existing species. But how do you get the species in the first place? They didn't just come from uh, nothing. Okay, now see, to be fair, that is a slightly understandable confusion on his part. Now, the issue is what mainstream science adheres to is. A form of, for lack of a better word, abiogenesis. The fact that, you know, it all started with single cell organisms and then they evolved. And I understand for someone who's moronic as this, that makes no sense to them. And for some reason, it makes more sense to say a magic sky daddy went and created everything at once. And then killed it all off with a flood and basically did it again. And no, my man, no. That's just not how it works. You're just an idiot. I'm sorry. A single cell organism? Okay, how do you get that? How do you get that? A fish to a monkey? Speculating about what a monkey did a million years ago is not science. No, you just don't understand. Nobody says a fish to a monkey. That's not how it works. You're just dumb and don't understand evolution. Oh, let's skip ahead one more time to something later. Fuck it show you the full video instead of making a 17 minute video responding to half of my video sirsik doesn't have the attention span to watch my full video okay no for one it takes a while to react to certain videos especially when they're filled with so much stupid i mean you you claim that he didn't re react to your whole video but guess what he probably watched it and he reacted to the part that he thought was the most coherent part to react to. I mean, you just spew nonsense out. It's not, it's not that there's nothing to react to, but in, in his reaction style, there isn't. So there's nothing to go against. I mean, you're just, it, it's the same thing as going, you know, oh, like Hoven says, this coffee mug was created, therefore everything was created. Like, it's dumb. Again, they don't know me. They have all these assumptions about me. They haven't even taken the time to watch one of my videos because I've explained that I was raised in a secular household. I wasn't raised with any religion. I was raised basically an atheist just like them. In public school, I was taught Darwinism and evolution. I watched Bill Maher and Family Guy and The Amazing Atheist. I was an atheist just like them, but then I started to think for myself and to just assume that the only reason I have my beliefs is because I was indoctrinated. No, I was indoctrinated into atheism. And then I actually started to think. Yeah, and then you got indoctrinated into whatever religion you adhere to. Think for myself. Again, they have all these assumptions about me. They don't even know me. What are you going on about? You're the Darwinist believer, which literally led to scientific racism and eugenics, which it's still present with abortion and birth control. And Okay, no, no, okay. You're an idiot. 
Stop for one. Stop saying Darwinism. He hasn't been relevant for however many hundred years now. And regardless, no, you're a moron. You just don't know what you're talking about. You pick catchy headlines and hear what other creationist morons say and repeat it ad nauseum. Usually, I refer. I save this kind of thing for Matt Powell. But you know what? Fuck you, Kyle. Fuck you. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and more importantly, go check out Sir Sick. He's amazing.